Yeah, good evening, guys, and my bon tag to our friends in the Philippines. Guys, the Bahawal. Jean is on the camera. Uh, the work crew are cleaning the yard. Uh, that's the uh, title of the video that's you uploaded. And uh, what you'll see is uh, three elderly ladies. Uh, one of the ladies, I think, is um, Nero's uh, wife. I'm not quite sure the names of the other two ladies. But uh, they can't uh, employ children now to uh, do any work. So they've decided to hire the aged people. The born idle occupants of the Bohovel, who are quite capable of doing this work, they're using subscribers' money that's been sent to get people in to do the work. Now, I've no doubt these three ladies are probably glad of the money because they're looking for food and water. Um, but it just, it just makes you wonder what type of people are these that they can't clean up the bovel. Now, the Queen Bee... Um, Gina was uh, as I say a video on, and uh, a little bit later on uh, the Barville clan left the workers at, uh, at the Barville to get on with the work while they were gallivanting about like they haven't got a care in the world hey, a three hour round trip up to uh, Taliban to uh, do a live stream, upload videos, uh, check the Metro Bank to see if any um, donations have arrived, um, and also probably check on the PayPal, see who else has sent money. But all that time wasted, and they've left people there to clean up when they can do it. It just, uh, it's just beyond belief, really. It really is. Anyway, as we said, Boss Hog did a live stream. All the clan in the back again, stuff on their faces. Um, there was quite a few uh, trolls in there today, uh, talking about the e-begging. But um, that's another story. But anyway, on the, um, on the way back, Boss Hog... Got his eye on the work crew. And uh, these guys were fixing the power lines. And uh, he said uh, there, must have been, there must have been about 100 vehicles parked up. But Boss Hogg was determined that he wanted to, uh, he wanted to speak to them. So he's the work crew guys and... Uh, Maricel was too shy to come out and do the interview, so the Queen Bee, yeah, the Queen Bee of the uh, Bahovel, she got out and was translator. Now, Brian did the interview and he put that, I'm a foreigner, more superior to you. He, he had that air about him. You can hear it in his voice. And... Uh, he was asking the guys what were they attempting, yes, attempting to do. Are you brain dead, brain surgeon? The guys were putting the power lines up. It was quite obvious what they were doing. Why are you asking them what they're attempting to do? Why are you trying to belittle these people? Anyway, he, uh, he asked a few questions about uh, where this work crew uh, were located where they live and he was very surprised to find out that uh, there was two in this group that were from Leyte and they'd arrived in Bohol to help the local community and there were volunteers boss hogs and exact words were wow they came all the way from Leyte and the volunteers, volunteer workers, they're not being paid. Yes, Brian, that's what 
is called helping the local community. Not like what you do when you help yourself with your e-begging. These people here, these Filipino workers, are helping their fellow countrymen. And it was quite significant that you were so surprised because we all know that you, you wouldn't be volunteering. You can't even clean the shit old behovel up. You've got three old ladies doing it. But you were gobsmacked, weren't you? Because you've met real decent people volunteering their time away from their families to help others. Something you would never do. A little bit later on in this video, guys, um, he decides to pull up and video this. But he um, he pulls up to a, a chicken uh, chicken shop and he says we bought 40 pieces of chicken. He didn't say we just bought a load of chicken for the guys for the lunch. We bought 40 pieces of chicken because I want to treat these people to dinner for lunch, for a snack. Now, when he's gone back with the 40 pieces of chicken, the guys are no longer there. So he says, we'll keep it later and uh, maybe he's one of the girls will see them on the road and they can give the chicken out. Now, Brian, these volunteers, yeah, they deserve, they deserve a treat. Yeah, they do. There's no question about that. But I imagine that these workers, these volunteers, have been provided with accommodation. They've probably been provided with uh, snacks and get a food allowance um, to sustain them while they're there. And I'm not begrudging these guys a treat because they deserve it. However, that chicken, why didn't you go around when you couldn't see these fellas to give them the chicken? Why didn't you go around and give it to some kids? Some locals, instead of wanting to video recipients of yard gifts, absolutely unbelievable. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, there's nothing changes at the bottom. Um, they could be doing the work yet. Uh, they've got three old ladies in there doing work. Um, that they're quite capable of doing themselves. But I think it's above Marcel and Queen Bee to uh, be cleaning up. Uh, they've got to be uh, waltzing around making videos for that can the world. That's the Bahovel clan. So take a good look at these people and uh, guys, whatever you do, don't send any money to the Bahovel, but keep proving it and proving it and proving it. They're just absolute scammers and e-beggars. And they've got money. There's no question about that. Otherwise, they'll be cleaning their shit all up by themselves. Till the next time. Bye for now.